Let's see what is the best tool for drawing. Is it uh, this cheap supermarket pen or is it maybe a Sharpie? Maybe you want to go for a paper made because you have more control with it. Or you want to go a bit more European, German, a Staedtler. Or since you like Copic and they are very famous, you can go for that. Or you can go for a precise V5, V5 rolling ball. What I say, none of these. You start with these, just simple pencils, usually an HB or a B, and it doesn't need to be any sort of uh, brand. You can go for the cheap Koinors or a Staedtler or here in the Netherlands, uh, Bernzel. All right, so as presented, we have these three pencils here. I usually work with an HB to start out with, and then I switch to B or go even lower. That's just the, if you, the, the H scale of the pencils is hard, so you can be, it's not gonna be as dark. And as you go towards the B, it becomes softer and it becomes darker as well as you draw with it. So let me just start out with this one. And honestly, I am not really 100% sure why industrial designers switch to, to pen and, and, and paper instead of um, pencil. So one thing that I, I like about pen is that it doesn't smudge. With uh, pencil, I do smudge quite a bit, and that is a, a little bit annoying, especially if you are a little bit of a sweaty hand like me. But yeah, that is that is definitely, at least for me, a, a good option to switch to pen. But what I want to talk about here is, uh, I talk to people and they ask me about what sort of pens do I use, if they're like specialty pens or something like that. And I always say I, I go for the cheapest possible pen because it really doesn't matter what sort of uh, pen you're using. What matters is how you're using it and what you're using it for. And I am drawing a camera here just because I suck at photography and at some point I did buy a more expensive uh, camera hoping that I would be able to do uh, better <coughs> shots with it and uh, guess what <laughs> I wasn't I still sucked at it the, the the point is that just because you have better tools doesn't mean that you are totally capable of using them to their full potential so for me in this case I can get the best photography gear in the world and yeah, they're probably going to, to make some of my photos look better if, if I ask somebody to do the right setup for me, but I won't be able to use them to their full potential. And that's, that's the same thing with pencil or whatever drawing tool you're using. I feel one of the main things that I've learned from working with, with pen is that you are forced to live with your mistakes. Right here, if I don't like something, I can come in with my uh, eraser and I can just say, okay, I, I don't like these lines. So I'm just gonna take them away. I can redraw them. Obviously not as many times as I want because after a while the, the paper gets uh, destroyed. But if you're working with pen on paper, there is no coming in and erasing. You have to start thinking just a little bit ahead. Or if not, you just have to start living with your mistakes. So you know that, oops, I did make that mistake. So I, I will have to live with it. And that's something that you're really not that used to if you're only working with a pencil. Because pencil is also great for just scribbling, really putting down some ideas, loose lines, seeing where it leads you. And the pen, especially if you're working only with pen, forces you to sort of come up with a way of working where it, it also looks a bit more professional. It looks like you, you did those lines deliberately because that's what people expect from a, from a pen sketch that doesn't have an, an underdrawing. So I really like that in, in pen sketches and funnily enough, I, that's, that's why I moved away from, <clears throat> from pencil and work more often with pen because I, I just feel, funnily enough, I feel more secure now with, with pen than with pencil 
just because once that line is down and it's, it's set on the paper, I'm like, okay, that's it. I set that line, that's not gonna change anymore. And, and with pencil, there's always this, well, I could always erase it and try for a better one. Is that the best line I can do? Like for example here, trying to get this proper ellipse in here. I keep on trying because I know that I can come back and erase if necessary. But I wouldn't do that with a uh, pen. I would have been like, okay, I already set that line down. No need to go back that often. But the pencil has its own uh, benefits aside from being able to to fix your mistakes the cross hatching and shading that you can do with the pencil obviously the pen does not have that's why we come in with the markers afterwards but then that's also what i would say is the benefit of the pencil that you don't need any expensive markers you can just use your own pencil for shading There we go. See, this line <laughs> now would have to stay there if I was drawing with a pen. And I do the wrong one again. But with a pencil, I can simply erase it and just redraw it. And <clears throat> that's also, I, I feel like that's also a good point for taking a pen compared to a pencil is that it's faster in a sense that since you don't take your time to fix your mistakes, you're just going to leave them there. You're just going to quickly, okay, that's a mistake, uh, quickly work around it, find a solution. And you're not gonna waste time on erasing it and trying to fix it. And then since you did that, if, if you did it wrong again, well, okay, erase it again, fix it again. That's just not happening with uh, pen and paper. One thing that I have to think of, so I can't, when I draw with pencil, I can't really go back in and fix many things because then my hand is going to be touching there. And that's going to be smudged. It already is a bit smudged. So since I didn't think of doing the details, that's something that interestingly enough works much better with a pen. You can always noodle around, go back in if you feel it's necessary, add some more details here and there. And I could put, so here, this is the solution. This is how I draw usually to protect my drawing. I just add a piece of paper on top of it. I'm gonna take a B4, slightly darker, and just for, for the lens here, to have a bit of a darker shade here. But yeah, in general, all I, I wanted to say with this video is whatever tool you have at your disposal, just use it, use that. Look, look up techniques for that specific tool and just get better with it. And at the same time, obviously, also you can try out the different tools that you have at your disposal. But don't ever feel that you need to invest or need to look up specialized tools just for drawing. Because drawing, you can use a piece of charcoal that you take out of fire 
of the fire and use that as well. So the, the main main point is it's it's about you. It's it's not about the tool. And also in, in one of the last videos I was talking about motivation. And as long as you're motivated to learn, don't let the tools stop you from learning. Don't let the tools stop you from figuring out how to use things because it's it's all in your power it's all about what you are going to do with those tools because those tools are not going to do anything with you they are useless without you You can put a, a million pencils onto a table or a, or a million uh, super expensive um, pens and they're just not going to do anything they're just going to lie there somebody has to pick them up and somebody has to start drawing so just don't let yourself be stopped the important thing is that you, you enjoy what you do, that you feel that you have some growth, that you try out new things. And then as, as, as you go along and as, as you feel that you are learning more and more, then you can start investing in more tools as well. But it is really not about the tools. I had it uh, when, when I was studying for four years. I think I only had like two Copic colors, an orange one and the blue one, and I had a couple of grays. I just didn't have the money to buy, uh, <laughs> what was it, like five euros a piece. As a student, especially in, in a foreign country, you don't, you don't have the money to, to, to buy every month a, a, a new Copic marker. So I just tried to do whatever I could with those colors. So almost for four years, <laughs> All my drawings were blue and orange. Those were the only accent colors other than grays that, uh, that I had in my drawings. And they, they were also used quite sparingly. I didn't want to use too many colors because then I had to buy a refill sooner or later for those. And refills are, uh, again, uh, pretty expensive. Pretty expensive. But I think, yeah, that was a big bit of a story. So I'm just gonna draw a car now. Uh, hope, hope this helped you a little bit. Hope uh, you're not worried about tools and pens and pencils. Just, just get whatever you have at hand and start drawing. And look, it's just pieces of paper. Again, uh, copy paper. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not using any fancy sketchbook here. So please don't worry about the tools. Just start drawing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video where I tell you about ways you can support me. If you like this sort of videos, then you can go check out my Gumroad where I have videos there. Uh, also with PSD files that you can check out and download and you can learn from them and by buying them obviously you can also support me, which would be really nice. But just in general, if you like this sort of uh, videos, you can hit that like button and you can also subscribe if you would like to see more content like this or you can follow me on Instagram where I upload on a regular basis drawing related stuff. As always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you with the next video. Bye bye.